So far, we've been talking about the theory of light, lighting. Now here's a set. It's lit, but it hasn't any mood. So when I first come on a set, I look to see where my source of light can come from, uh, such as a window. Or later on, we may have a lamp. So let's turn off the lights and see what we can do. I generally start lighting the outdoors first. So let's light the skylight. Now let's hit the light for the tree. That's it. Now can you give me a little more light? Throw shadows on the roof, the leaves. That's fine. Now let's see the sunlight coming through the window. Ah, too low for the sunlight. Let's raise it up higher. Get about 2.30, 3 o'clock. There. Tip it down a little. Now, we got to heat it up a little bit. That's fine. Now, that's the way I key my set. Start from the outdoor first and light my interiors to match the outdoors. Now, let's see the light coming through the window on the people. That's fine. Now, that's a light coming through the window. That's a source. Now, what we need is this fill light here that will catch Mr. Davidson here, this young lady. Beautiful. That's nice. Now, let's see. That's a good. Now, let's hit this light here for fill on Mr. Davidson's face here. That's it. That's good. Now, what we need is the spotlight up there for a little light on the hair to bring the texture of the hair out. There, that's fine. That's good. Now, the walls, we need a little fill. Let's light this fill light here. That's good. Now, we need something to kind of fill it in here a little. Maybe we can use that top one. That's good. That looks quite nice, quite normal. The only thing, this table needs a little treatment. We might hit that little baby here to bring that out a little bit. That's yeah, that will bring out the table a little. Uh, that leaves us with a pool of darkness here on the floor. And we must treat the floor. Uh, that's very important. So let's, presumably there's another window off over there. That's it. And we use that light there. Now, I think that looks uh, fairly good. Now we're going to light the same scene for sunset. Now light the outside. That's it. Now let's kick the light on coming through them, sunset. That's it. Now the, the sunlight, sunset light coming through the window. Now put the gel on, drop it down. Drop it down, sunset. There, that's fine. Now, we got to warm it up a little more. Let's put another gel on there. That's it. Now, let me see this little baby fill light on Mr. Davidson. That's good. I need this fill light here. That's very good there. Now, let's see. We need, yeah, we need a little more treatment on that table. Let's light the little table lamp there. Now, put a gel in there and warm it up. That's fine. Now, that floor, we should have a little sunlight, I mean, a uh, sunset streak come across. Good. Now, the only thing that we need now is to bring our hair out a little bit. So let's have that little baby up there. That's fine. Now, you see, most of the sunset effect is coming from the window. The sun can be only setting from that side. Now, I don't put gels in these front lights because I got to keep this side normal. Fill lights here on this side and no gels. So now we have our sunset effect. But the only thing is, there's a deep shadow right in there. See? Now what we have to do is to move this light around. You see, you see that shadow? Go around a little more. There. Now that should clean it out a little bit more. I think it looks better that way.
Now we had a shot in daylight, sunset, and we're going to one night with just a table lamp. Uh, you notice we have a little quartz peanut though hidden behind. It's a 250 watt peanut bulb. Just like that bulb, you see. Yeah, that represents the light coming from the lamp. And we kill all these other lights. Now the table needs a little fill in here. So let's light this fill light here. Give it a little fill. Yeah, that helps it. Now the only thing that's lacking is uh, a little soft light on the hair. Probably we could use that again. Now the outdoor, since the sky is lit, we have a little detail we should have in the building there, right here by the roof. There, that's good. Now I think we have a nice shot of two people in the room lit by one table lamp. Uh, you notice that uh, the highlight or the key light is coming from left to camera. It gives a nice effect of one source lighting, which is very simple lighting, as it should be. The most important thing to remember, really, is to uh, make the light to create the effect and the mood that you want it to create. And these moods are mostly dictated not by yourself, the way you want to light, the kind of mood, but it's mostly dictated by the scene and the story and the actors, the way they move. 